Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to geek out on the latest malware bytes. We're up to version 3 now. It is better, it is faster, it is stronger, it's even a little prettier. Basically, not a lot has changed. As you can see, you now have your dashboard to keep you up to date on what kind of protection you have if you've bought the uh, shareware. As you can see, we're using the trial, so a lot of these things are not going to work in the free version, I like to call it freemium. It's my favorite way of doing things. Malware bytes will scan and remove and update for free, but you can add in all these extra features like web protection, and they've added a lot to this latest version. So it's the protection is really, really good. So for $24.95 in that neighborhood, it's pretty much worth it. But you probably already know that. You probably have it on your machine already. If you don't, drop and give us 20 Go download it. It's the number one anti-malware, anti-spyware, anti-you-know-whatever. So if you're familiar with the program, we'll stop over here real quick. Here's the threat scan, the custom scan, and the brand new hyperscan. Hyperscan does exactly as it says here. It's just going to check your memory and any startup items. Very quickly, not the best thing to do, but it has a purpose. Just like custom scan has a purpose. Custom scan is going to allow you to configure it so it only scans what you want. So if you know you've got a problem in your memory or you have a problem in your registry, you can narrow it down as a tech and just scan what you need to scan. However, this is where most of us are looking at is the threat scan. A full scan that can take anywhere from a few minutes to 20 minutes, sometimes more depending on your computer. However, it is much, much faster than the previous two version. So I think you'll be impressed with the speed. Your quarantine, obviously, anything that it found that it tucked away for you. Reports, briefly, I can show you. I did a report earlier, so I can quite simply quick view report. And once I'm here under view report, I can export it to by copying to the clipboard or exporting as a text file. This is nice if you need to get it to somebody who's helping you uh, on an internet forum or major geek support forum, for example. Uh, your settings, I believe there's quite a few more settings than before however the way they're set at default should work for most people unless you hit a problem and again you'll you can jump here from your dashboard so if you decide you want to shut the web protection off it's just going to take you right back to here so these two are intertwined so there you go there's most of your settings from the web protection you know sometimes you need to turn things off if you're doing something you know it's okay uh, this is very very common sort of like with google chrome when you want to download something and it tells you everything's evil your scan schedule, nice to be able to do something like that every uh, week, for example. So simple edit, and you can come in here, and as you can see, you've got plenty of options to figure out how often you want to do it, daily, weekly, monthly, on reboot, etc. Your exclusions, in case there's something you wanted to put in here to not scan that you know on your computer that's good as an example. So you can do that with whether it's a folder, whether it's a website, anything, you know, if you run into a problem with malware bytes, something you know that you want, you don't want it to scan, you can get around it nice and easy. Your account, which will keep track of obviously how much time my trial is remaining, etc. And the about, so you can jump over to their website, their forums, read some guides, etc. And that's about it. So like we said, the program remains essentially the same as it was just everything's a little bit better and a little bit stronger but for the most of us we're just gonna look down here in the scan this is where we want to be just like it used to be for the most part and there you go program works great I think you'll be real happy with it I'll drop a download link in the description below here take a second to subscribe if you will we've had a lot of you guys did click subscribe we appreciate that and as always we thank you for watching and we'll see you next time